Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is. KGR, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, you're quite welcome. If you're a return customer, I appreciate you today. What we have here 2011 Toyota Sienna. Customer complain the engine light is on, number one. And customer complain the temperature goes up, come down. It just keep, you know, bouncing up and down. So most of the time when that happens, probably the the cooling sensor is bad. So we're gonna hook a scan machine on it and see what code comes up. Please consider subscribing, support your boy in any way you can. KG, shout out to Brooklyn. We are here back again, 1st of February. Having sex so you know my slogan. Let's go. We're getting it right now. It is short time. Bring my scan machine closer so everyone can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna hit OK right here. Wait till this guy come up and see what we got. The sun is not out, so bear with me if you are not seeing clearly. All right, say erase. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna say no. Come right here. We'll push that button. Then we're gonna press that guy. Then we're gonna say read call. Here you go. See right there. Engine cooling temperature sensor one seco is too low so what does that mean the engine cooling temperature sensor is failing though there's another other code there but it's the same thing so we're going to go ahead i'm going to bring you guys up i show you exactly where it's located so customer complaint is confirmed so we're gonna off this guy and then we're going to be going to the other side to do so if you look down here you see that's where the cooling sen uh, sensor is located, the cooling temperature sensor right there. Those two wires there, like you see, I think one is brown, the other one is like a, a blue. That's where we're going to be going to. So I'm going to try to move some stuff so I can get my hand all the way down there. We might probably take off this guy right here so we can get our hands situated. So let me go ahead and address all of that and I'll bring you guys back. So I just go ahead and pick up the two 10 knot bolts that is here. I have to be really mindful sometimes this thing gets so rusty, I have to put a penetrating oil on it. So now we can take off this guy. I believe we can take this guy off like this. Okay, now this guy is off. So now we can see this and bring this camera. Make sure we get the video. So we can see the guy right there, it's right here. So we're gonna sneak our hand around in there, try to unplug it first. Congo power is not working there. I tried to borrow power from Hokaga, but it didn't do it. You know? It didn't do it, brother. Use it to, okay. Now we got it out. So Congo didn't do it, but KG did it. <laughs> didn't say that. Okay, so that's a plug there. You gonna plug it already? We're gonna go ahead now and then uh, get a tooth to take off that i don't know that should be let me get the new one so this is the new one let me show you the part number uh i bought it from AutoZone. this is the part number xu 6775 drollers so i'm just gonna go in my vehicle there and uh Get the tooth that is gonna go in here before we even take up that. So I got this tooth, which is not really the real size, but the thing is, it can go over this. That's our goal, so we can be able to break it loose. So let me see. 
if you will work on this place right here. Okay, in there now. Get it. So you give it a space on my little um, anti freeze is gonna come out of there. You understand? This anti freeze. You can say that. So probably we'll use a flat. So let's go ahead and use a 19 flat. Right, that should do it. Okay, you got it. KG, we're always gonna get it. So we're gonna use this for leverage. So we can break here. There we go, just like that. Ooh, KG, somebody better clap for me again. Here. We're gonna expect that, so we're just gonna go ahead and let me see. I don't know if you have us. This one doesn't have no, oh. doesn't have no little we'll C right there. I believe the other one might not have as well. We got to come with a washer, but we're gonna make it really snappy, really quick. All right, so I so said, see, this one has a washer. I so we're gonna use this washer. Very bad thing here because this one didn't come with a washer. Everything we just gonna make sure they are the same, which I believe. So we're gonna go ahead. Just push that guy back in there. Turn it. right there so let me put some water in there wash up that thing there and uh, I'm gonna put some water there just to wash out that antifreeze you know antifreeze like an oil when you go in the car when you start the car the next thing you'll be seeing some smoke just want to be careful with that and start out there okay that should do it there I'll make sure we do a clean job Make sure it's clean. So now I can put back this guy right here. Take all the time. Back in there. Just go down like that. That was the way we came out. KG, remember? That was the way you put it out, right? We'll go just like that. There we go. Boys in. Make sure it connects with the one at the bottom there. Then we'll put it back here. And we can put the two turn boat. One is coming right here. The other one is coming right here. So we're gonna I'll tie this guy down there. We'll clear the code and then. Should be fine from there. There we go. So that's pretty much it. The job is done. Just gonna clear the code and uh, we are good from there. So anytime you want to change your engine cooling temperature sensor, you know where it's located and what it takes to do it. All right, so let me close this video. Take off my tools, cause sometimes I walk on the car, I leave my tools there. All right. So that's it on this job. So next time when you want to change your cooling temperature sensor, you know where it's located and what it takes to do it. Please consider subscribing, support your boy in any way that you can kg love you peace i will see you next time on my next 
episode. California love. Yeah, God.